blessed 14th Thursday in Ordinary Time to you and your family. I'm Deacon Ken Crawford, and this is my ninth video as a newly ordained deacon. You know, as I've recorded this the first time, this is a repeat. <laughs> For those who want to know the, the truth behind the, uh, the, the series, so to speak. I couldn't remember whether it was the ninth one. I've been such a long couple days on the trail that you start to wonder, is this still the eighth? Is it the ninth? I'm not sure. <laughs> so, but I'm pretty confident after uh, doing this again, this is indeed my ninth video. It is Thursday and I've recorded every day this week and five last week. My topic for today is more about accepting the path in front of you. Uh, as I was walking along today, I did something that I very frequently do on the trail, and it's particularly easy to do when it's a long day of hiking, is that you really get frustrated when the trail goes down and then goes up, and then goes down and then goes up. And you're thinking, why? Sometimes because you even see a way that the path could have gone a different path and stayed more level. And personally, I can hike a lot flat, faster on flat ground. I can go two and a half, two and three quarters miles an hour with a loaded pack uh, on flat ground. But going downhill, I'm down to about two miles an hour. You know, you're trying to wash your footing. And uphill, it can go really slow. I can be down to a mile an hour. I, I, in fact, I usually judge it not so much based on distance, but based on how many vertical feet I'm gaining. I think I can do usually about 800 feet an hour when I was a little bit better shape, 1,000 feet an hour. Um, and it didn't matter whether that was over, you know, a half mile or two miles. Um, and so it was a lot slower doing those things and going on flat. And so you're thinking, why is this trail torturing me? They could have just moved around that peninsula over there and I wouldn't have had to go uh, and up and up and up. And it occurred to me, I'm being way too picky. I'm blessed to have the life I have. I'm blessed to have the opportunity to be on the trail with my boys. My, my boy Peter sitting right with, here with me in the tent. I, in fact, I hope you guys like the in-tent edition. I was hoping that perhaps it would be a little bit more stable and um, uh, good video. Uh, but it's just such a blessed place to be. There's a wonderful scene, scenery out there. It was just a, a great day on the trail. And here I am spending a good third of my time uh, obsessing about, you know, whether the trail could have been that much more perfect. And I think we do that with a lot of things in our life. We let, we get too bogged down in minutiae that, by the way, we may not be right about. We may be wrong. There may be exceptionally good reason why the trail went up and down as opposed to around the way that looks, to me, like a reasonably good way to go. Um, but I didn't actually hike over there. I don't actually know whether that would have been good and fine. Uh, and I, I think this analogy applies to so many things in our lives. We get worried about the path and which way it goes and how it should be and whether it's ideal as possible. And we need to instead focus on, is this overall a good journey? Is this overall where God is leading us? Are we thinking about what's really important and not letting the minutia, the details, uh, mess everything up? So that's my thought for today. Uh, always like to keep these short. I think I'm going to keep them doubly short on the trail because I am tired. Uh, we did 11 miles yesterday and it was almost all uphill, about 5,500 vertical feet up. Uh, today we did 12 miles and we did it all before 2 o'clock so that we could get to this campground and, and hopefully get a spot before it filled up on a Thursday of people starting to think coming out for the weekend which we did, thank goodness. <laughs> thank the good Lord for that, because it would have been very hard if a campground wasn't open. Uh, so, going to keep these short. Hopefully you like the intent edition better. God bless you. God bless your families. I will pray for you. I pr ask that you pray for my ministries. Um, you, I ask that you pray retroactively for this journey that we're on, this backpacking trip. Um, and God willing, I'll be able to record one of these tomorrow. God bless.